Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Advanced Stream. I'm Richard. I'm Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Joey at JWonder on the Make Code Forum. I'm Thomas at Sparks on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Sarah at S Freaker on the Make Code Forum. And today we are working on, you guessed it, Bug President. That's all we do anymore. Um, so you might notice it looks a little bit different than I did before. Um, I have done some stuff to make it all just a hi Miley virus. It's been a while. Um, I've done some stuff just to just some little things to kind of polish it up a little bit. Um, so uh, to uh, I'll go over them real quick. Uh, so I added a press A down here so that you know to press A to go to the level select. Um, I added a background around each of the letters so they're easier to read. Um, I changed the background color for the select screen to be green. Um, so we press A. And then whoop. Uh, so you can see there's a little bit of different animation when the level select comes down and now kind of goes like whoop, comes down. Um, and the level select text here, the bugs no longer walk over the menu, but they do walk over the level select text. So still got that little cute thing, but we don't have to worry about them covering up the text anymore. Um, so if I uh, let's go to the uh, see, and it does this little bouncing off thing. Add a background to this countdown and it says get ready. Um, so go ahead and just finish this level. Finish. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so now it says new high score, gives me the medal, and then Bug Emperor walks away. Um, and the medal shows up. Um, and now when you press uh, a button, you know, you go back to the tile screen. So there you go. Just kind of polishing up a bunch of random things. So um, today, though, we are doing level design. So all we have right now is our little test level. That's not fun at all. It's just, you know, for us to test things out. Um, so we're going to be trying to make some levels today. And that brings me to the other thing I did, which is um, I made it so that in addition to having level tile maps, level names, there's in a third array now, which is level times. So we had it hard code to be two minutes before for the timer, but now we'll be able to set the time for each level. So, you know. We can tweak all of those things. All right, and with that, let's get to making some levels. So um, to start off, well, I should get a blank tile map, but um, let's just, yeah, let, let me get a blank tile map. Tell you to, where are you? Oh, there's one other thing actually I want to do real quick, um, which is, so right now we have um, the settings story, which stores our score for all of these things. As we're tweaking levels and stuff, we're going to want to clear these scores. So I'm just going to put, um, and this is not going to, this is just for us for now. I'm going to remove this before we like, you know, release this game to the wild. But I am going to put clear all settings inside of an on menu button pressed so that I can clear all of my settings and I don't need to, um, well, you know, so that we can, uh, as we change things around, our settings won't get all weird. All right. So um, let's pull out a blank tile map. right here, and let's go over how our tile maps work. So we have a bunch of tiles in here. Um, you might notice we have these uh, wall tiles, and um, but in our tile map, they were all smoothed over. That's because all you need to use are these wall tiles um, in our game. So let me, uh, we'll just make a really basic level. level. Um, Next, we have a bunch of um, letter tiles. So H is our home base. This is where Bug President spawns. G is a pile of grapes. One right there. Then we have, oh, ignore those two. We have B, which is bugs. Um, so this will put some bugs in the level. Put some bugs right there. Um, then we have pomegranate, watermelon, S is strawberry. strawberry and lemon. So we'll go ahead and put these guys in too. Watermelon, strawberry, lemon. And then this frowny face is an enemy. Put an enemy right there. And then um, we also have walls, and those are these tiles and these tiles. 
the rest of these tiles that you see in here are all just used internally. So you don't have to worry about those. They are not part of the actual level editing process. Now that we've done that, go ahead and we can take a look at the level we just made. There we go. So we automatically have everything smoothed out. We've got our enemy down here. Um, it immediately finished because we have the time set for one millisecond. And uh, we had all of the things we placed in the map. So I go. And oh, right, we still have a bug where if you don't collect anything, the game just locks. But uh, yeah, don't worry about that. All right. So with that, um, let's go ahead and um, we're going to start by making a um, intro level of some kind. So this is just going to be a really simple level. The point of it is to be like, you know, somewhat easy. And um, we just kind of want to, you know, just make this a real basic challenge. So we're going to, um, I think, let's see, we're going to put in a pomegranate. So if I remember correctly, a pomegranate, I think, takes 12 bugs. Either it takes 12 bugs or 20 bugs. I don't remember. I think watermelon is 20. Pomegranate is probably 12. Watermelon is 32. I know that. Oh. Well, one way to find out. I think it was yeah. 12 for the pomegranate and then like 8 for the lemon. I think eight is the strawberry. Maybe strawberry is four. Maybe we change strawberry to four. Lemon became eight. Pomegranate is 12. Watermelon is 32. I think that might be it. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Okay. So we're going to put this pomegranate right here, which you will not be able to pick up because you only start with five bugs. We're going to um, make this top map bigger. So let's do um, 40 and 30. It's probably too big, but we'll uh, use the space we want and then throw away the rest. So we'll put a pomegranate you can't pick up. See that. Um, and I think we will put in a wall. Here-ish. And then behind that wall. We will put some bugs. So we need um we will need to get two we need to have two things in this bug if we want to get that two things of bugs in this game if we want to get those pomegranate, right? Because each one has five. And if we're gonna have to have 15 at least, well we need 12 at least, but 15 bugs, you know, to pick up that thing. So um let's go ahead and put in wall for this. Wall it in. This level is, this map is definitely too big. Let's um make this thirty. Wait, that's what it already was, wasn't it? Let's make this twenty. There we go. Okay. And pull this guy up. that and we kind of have a rule with our tile maps that walls have to be at least um, too thick except for around the outer edge um, that's just so that everything looks right when we smooth out the walls so that's why I'm doing that um, and now put our bugs in here there we go okay so that's nice um, let's go ahead now and uh, we'll put this right here um, we're going to put some uh, more bugs somewhere else, so we need to have at least one more bug thing for us to pick up. So we'll put some more bugs over here. And let's try to make this landscape seem a little more, I don't know, natural. We'll see if we like this or not. Okay. 
Um, let's put in um, another wall over here. And we'll put a strawberry behind that one. And uh, let's just look, see what this looks like. For the time, we'll just put in two minutes for now. Two minutes is way too long. You could probably do this one in 30 seconds. All right. Okay, so there are bugs. Actually, what happens if we call bugs, but they can't get to us? Oh yeah, poor babies. <laughs> they're trying. Yeah, they're Ooh, that's interesting. If you called bugs, then you broke, set some bugs to break the wall and then walked away, would the bugs you called eventually catch up to you once Good the question. wall broke? I'll we'll just go over here, see what happens. Yep. That's a fun little trick yeah all right got these bugs over here that looks a little awkward i'll fix that so i'll go ahead and get this straub go my pretties there you go get over here you guys Um, so actually, this is feeling pretty much like I feel like this is kind of the right size for an intro level. Um, we need to put in some more stuff. But um, I like the map size. So um, what do you guys think? What, what else should we do in here? Maybe we should get some grapes in here somewhere. Yeah, we could put some grapes in the lower right corner where there are those extra bugs. That's a long distance for them to go back and forth. But we put some grapes right here. Oh yeah, that works too. And then maybe we'll put um just for some more variety, we'll put a lemon over here. And I think this will honestly be enough to do. You're gonna have a lot of running back and forth. Um so here, I'm going to do Did this you level. I also yeah. want to fix that oh, like right corner. It looks like I just did. very squished when you went over there. Yeah, I fixed it. There, there was a, oh, okay. it was um blank here before and I put a wall there. I think it'll look better. Gotcha. Okay. Um, all right, we're going to play this and we're going to see what time I get. I want these bugs. Go. All right. I'm going to throw one bug on this task. Get these guys over here. All right, that one. I'm going to use the rest of my bugs to break this wall. I'm going to head on back over to grab these guys again. Get on back over here. Throw, 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 throw. Here. Grab these guys. Carry that straw. Do, do, do. All right, and that's everything except the grapes, right? Yep. Okay. I think two minutes is not a bad time for this. For a beginner level, yeah. Yeah, because I just, like, I, I feel like I kind of knew what I was doing, and it still took me a bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Um. 
So, yeah, but and honestly, I got to say, I was a little worried that once we got to actually playing this game, we might not think this game is fun. I was having fun just doing that just now. So I think I do think this game is fun, which is good. By yeah. the way, would you guys be interested in making levels on your own? Um, I can send you the share link. You guys could make some levels and share it back to me, and then I could put your levels in the game. What do you think? Joey's going to say, no, my computer can't handle it. I don't think we have the technology. We do have the technology for that, Joey. No, I think Joey's right. Joey's on something here. You don't Only want to? If... <laughs> All right. Just well, okay. you, make them. you know what? No, I, I, can, I can do it. I'll, I'll, I'll make a level. It just won't be no. that good. I, I thought you guys would be leaping leaping to it because it's fun, but no. You're I mean, I would, I'll be happy to do it asynchronously after. Yeah, yeah, agreed. All right, whatever helps you sleep at night. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next up, um, uh, let's do a level. Um, I'm I I don't want to do an enemy level yet. We'll do enemies, but um, let's see. Uh, also, hi, Kiwi Phoenix. Um, let's do another level, and this time I want to make it um, do kind of like a basic thing where. You have to knock down a wall. You have to decide when to knock down a wall to make a shortcut. All right. So we're going to make this bigger. So let's make this um, 40 again. And we'll make this 25. There we go. We're going to have a, um, and just do our basic walls around the edges like that. Um, we're going to have a, somewhere where there is um, a lot of stuff to do. So we're going to put in some grapes. All right. I'm going to take two grapes. And it's weird that grapes are in a different place than all the other ones, but that's fine. Okay, so we'll put two piles of grapes right here. And we're going to make it a long and winding road. Bum, 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 bum. Everyone's favorite Beatles song that I don't like very much. That cannot be everyone's favorite Beatles song. No, but people like it a lot. Mm -hmm. it's a lonely road, like uh, I walked a lonely road. I didn't know that was the Beatles. <laughs> that is... yeah, I think okay. that's a, there's a different. That one's a little bit different, Joey. I mean, I, I trust Richard on music stuff, so I don't know. Sorry. You know, that's a good point. You're right. You're right. Okay. Um. So we're gonna put in a wall here that you can break down. Um. But we're also gonna give you the option to bypass this wall. So I think what we're actually gonna do here is we're gonna make this kind of sneak around, like this. All right, um, and we're going to put in a wall right here. All right, I'll be right back. I think breakfast broke into a room he's not supposed to be in. Breakfast can open doors, everybody. It's a <laughs> big problem for me. We love cat shenanigans here. Door stops for every door. I have to say the the layout of this looks like a snake because you got like the two eyes for the grapes. Oh, that's true. Like, it it's it winds. Level. Yeah, there you go. Perfect snake level. That's the, uh, that's the name. Nah, he was being a perfectly good kitten. Oh. Oh. I was unfairly judging him. All right. Cool. Okay. Um, and we might even make this a dual. So let's let's have it like kind of branching here. So we'll put a thing right here. And we'll kind of have another little thing. We'll put something over here too. And in this, we will put another wall. So I'm going to copy this 
And here's where I get annoyed by how our tile map editor puts the things that you copy up there. Oh, one day, one day, one of us will fix this bug. Yeah. Where do we want to put it? Where, where, where does everybody gut feeling? Right on a mouse? The same location as the thing you copied. That's also a reason. Although yeah, that does make it slightly harder because then you might not notice that it's. Or maybe just you. at your current selection. And if you don't have a current selection, then in the corner. Yeah. I think at the mouse or even at like the center of the screen that you're. Or like the center of your view on the tile lab editor, I guess. Yeah, I don't dislike if it's like top left, but just like slightly on the mouse so that you can drag it right away, but also resize it right away. It just have it as if you're already in drag mode with it, even if you haven't clicked the mouse down and it just follows your mouse until you click. Oh, oh, that'd be nice. That's, that's I like nice. That. I like that. Well, well, I thought of the idea, so someone else can do the implementation. <laughs> it does kind of get rid of like the edgy point. Yeah, that doesn't matter that much. Does it? I don't know. I believe in you, Thomas. Gets, gets rid of what? I actually forget if we support like. Uh, Expanding the uh, selection. Like oh, that. Like stretching. Stretching. Uh, I don't think we do support that. No, do I don't we, know how that would work in a time. We did that. What am I thinking? I thought. Oh, we, we do support that in the sprite editor where you can uh, resize things. Yes. But okay, I, that's I, what I was thinking. Can... Not here. Uh, I, I guess I, I, pref I was thinking of the behavior as the same across both. I didn't realize we didn't support it here, even though it's. I mean, they're both just pixels, whatever. Hmm. Okay. What would happen when you expand it? Like, it wouldn't know like how to. I mean, it does the same pixel art, right? It's it's not a hundred percent accurate, but there's an algorithm for it that does a decent job. I don't know if we want to do the resizing thing. Like, I can see us doing resizing for um, the actual selection area, but I yeah. don't think you're gonna do just like how we have technically rotation. But it's pretty useless. Yeah. See how my wild walls are all <laughs> messed up now. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So I never use it unless you're making a really basic tile map. It's not useful. Um. Okay. So all right. So we have some grapes up here. We have pomegranate down here. We have these two walls that you can break down, which will make. I don't actually know this. This will not actually improve the grape time very much. Um, we're going to move our home base down to here because we want this to be a clear um, time saver to bypass this to like get over here. So you kind of have to make a decision if, if you're going to do the work to break this down or not. Um, but I feel like there has to be something to make it so that you have a possibility of discovering this thing over here right now it's not clear that you don't have to break this thing right if you come over here to the right first you're gonna be like oh i have to break that wall you know um so i kind of want to lead them up somehow um Bug. more bugs yeah that's not a bad idea so putting some bugs up there i think is a pretty good incentivizer um so how about we just put uh, we're going to need two more bug things in here, so we'll we'll put them both right here and that will hopefully. Draw you up there and we'll put some things for you to do up here, too. So let's take um, some we'll put some strawberries, some straws. Um, and uh, cool, and uh, maybe we will put another grape task right here. This level's going to take a while. Yeah. OK, let's just try this out as is. Oh, uh, so uh, this is our third level, and I'm going to have to give us at least two minutes. We'll see. This might take longer.
Ooh. Also, we have to name some of these levels, so I'm, you guys have to be thinking of level names if you're not going to help me design levels. Grab those guys, and I come up here and I see those drops. Go, oh, my pretties. Go. I'm going to throw a couple guys on this task. Oh, OK. Uh oh, <laughs> yeah, that's no good. All right, abort. Both presidents in a jam. Mm hmm. All right, so we're going to have to widen this hallway like that. That should be enough, and I'm guessing that we're going to have to widen this hallway down here, too. That should do it. Um, OK, so that's good. And I'm actually going to put this straw over here. Um, and let's see, I'm a little worried about you running out of bugs. So OK, let's see. We have um, 15 total in this level right now. Uh, four for this guy, four for this guy. You can throw like a bug there. You need a few to break down walls, but not that many. And then you need to get a few started on this. Then you come back, you grab the guys that are over here, and you get the pomegranate. Um, I think maybe we need one more bug thing just to make these numbers work a little bit better. Um, because I want you to be able to do that. So get the strawberry, get the strawberry, get these gold uh, grapes, and then come back to the home base once, grab everybody, and get the pomegranate while the grapes are still going. You know, I think you're going to need a few more bugs to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Also, I like what we're doing with the making it look kind of natural. I think it looks really good. What do you guys think? Do you like the square walls or do you like the? No, oh, natural. Works. Yeah, I think the natural look works. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Get dig dug vibes. Grab these guys. Get that straw. Get this straw. Get two working on these grapes. Head over here. Do the wall. Do the other wall. Go. Got these. Get a few guys working on those. Go. Oh, did it again. But you can still fire your bugs through it to get the pomegranate. Yeah, it, I think it's it's actually kind of a an interesting thing that we can make. It might be a good idea in a level to make a thing that the bugs can go through, but bug president cannot. Mm. Um, I feel like that could be an interesting mechanic. You know, oh, all done. All right, that actually didn't take very long, huh? But if you didn't know everything that was in there in advance, it might have been a little more. Well, I guess that's the. So if you finish the game, like the level, by getting all the groups, are you basically guaranteed? Nope, I guess not. I was going to ask if you're basically guaranteed to get platinum, but you just got gold. You are guaranteed to get platinum. I think there's we have a bug somewhere. Oh. Yeah, if you beat the time limit and you get everything, then yeah, you get platinum. OK. Yeah, you get flat for sure. Also, oh. should should the um when the bugs throw the the fruits to the bug emperor, should they be the same? They should. Fruits? Yeah, we have a bug there too. So one of those should okay. have been pomegranate, but I guess I never did that properly, which I believe I messed that up. Um, let's see. Kiwi Phoenix is asking. Um, wait, how long did how did it take me this long to realize that this is basically an RTS game? Not quite, but close. Pikmin is an RTS game. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it is 100%. You have a main character leading it, but that's pretty normal to you. There's heroes and lots of RTSs. Yep. Um, okay, we'll have to work out those bugs. Um, but for now, let's go back to our level. And while I think it might be an interesting idea to have a hallway that we can't walk through as bug president, we're not going to do it for this level. So um, let's widen this up. And in fact, just to be extra cautious, 
we'll widen the gate too. Do that. There. And uh, there we go. And uh, we'll, you know what, I'm just being paranoid now, but let's do this one too. But there you go. Okay. Cool. Um, and good. Okay. Hi, Ham. Hello, Ham993. All right. Alternate strategy. I'm going to go this way this time. Nice. All right. Yeah. I feel like we should make um, walls take longer to hit down. I feel like they're not um, like, uh, what's the word? Um, Costly enough? Yeah, they should cost more. Here, break that down, you by yourself. This is a bad strategy. <laughs> Thomas, are all the the names you put in chat, are those suggested level names? Of course. Richard said he needed level names, so I'm just doing my part. Where are the flowers, though? Yeah. I need to imagine those. Oh, you know, that's fair. Just All right. Imagination is everything. Yeah. This, this went real poorly. Go, buddies. OK, I really did parse that first one, that first message as all one level name. And I was like, wow, you are into this. <laughs> The flowery forest, grassy gardens, field of fortune. Yep. Oh my gosh, are we gonna make it? Wait. All right, cool. Okay, so um, we uh, I'm okay with this level design. Um. I think that uh, this we have an issue right now where um, the time is I just did a bad job. OK. Um, and I still made it in under the wire. So our first one was kind of like a, you know, um, you're, you're trying out for the first time. We're going to make it easy. Two minutes. There you go. This one. We're going to make a little bit tougher. I'm going to drop it by 30 seconds. So it should be an option for you to. Oh, sorry, that's not the right one. This one. It should be an option for you to fail. You know, like, in fact, in the Pikmin challenges, usually on the first try, you're not going to get it. You know, you're going to get like bronze or something. But. Um, uh. Yeah, so time time should be tight, especially on the harder levels. Mm -hmm. All right. Got two levels. Um, Ham says, can you share the game? Yeah, I will drop the link in our chat. And it's Joey. It's the same as the ordered. last link you sent, right? Yeah, it is. I'll send that. OK. Well, there it is anyway. Um, I'll send that if you guys get copies. So. I forget it's already in the chat because on the stream computer I don't have access to chat history. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, make another level, and this one's going to focus on enemies. All right. I feel like we we you have something that we should note is that. I think we're past the start of Bug President. What? What? Still called Bug <laughs> President Start. Oh, right. Yeah, I should okay. um I should change the name at some point. 
All right. Unless you're going for a trilogy or, you know. Um, so, no, so I'm going for a, I'm actually going for a trilogy, Joey. Um, all right. So let's just arbitrarily put our home base. Got to keep you guessing. We're going to put it in the top right this time. Ooh. Um, so I want this one to be about enemies. Um, so we're going to put at least one enemy in here. We might just put in one. Um, so let's let's kind of make this one um, a little bit more linear to start. So we're just going to make it like a little tunnel type thing. Let me just use the bigger brush. I'm like doing all this work to make um, the uh, walls thicker when really I could just be using the thicker brush. All right. Remember to use the thicker brush myself. So uh, we're going to put our enemy right here. That's too many. There's an important. I was like, why is what's happening? OK. Um, actually, you know what? Do I want to put the enemy right here? No, I want to put the enemy guarding a prize. Um. Do the so, watermelon. Introduce the watermelon. We don't have enough bugs for the watermelon. Um, oh. The watermelon is like a once in a while thing, OK? Because you need 32. It's, there is a watermelon, I think, in the Pikmin games, and it, it takes a 1,000 Pikmin to pick up, which you're only allowed to have 100. But there are purple Pikmin that can pick up 10. So you have to bring 100 purple Pikmin to pick up this watermelon. Or your doggy. Uh, and or your dog. 90. I don't know how strong he is. So, so are we gonna have it to where, like, after a while, you get to unlock bigger starting bug inventory? If that makes sense. I don't like I don't, you finish I, five levels. Here's five more bugs. That would ruin all your scores, right? Because then you would just go back with your more bugs, and you would get a better score. Hmm. I mean, that's half the fun, Fair right? Enough. If you're playing like RuneScape or something, and you go back to the little kit starter area PvP, and you're just like, hey, how about you guys come <laughs> over here? I'll give you some free items. My you know, whole kind of player is. Joey is in RuneScape. I've never actually played <laughs> RuneScape. I, I played it like once, and all I did was mining. I was like, yeah, okay. That's it, maybe. I played it for like a week when it first started getting really big. Yeah. And then I was like, mm, I have to pay to get some of this stuff. My parents are never going to agree to that. <laughs> but like, all right, never mind. Yeah, I played it for like it's a, a week. Pay on a website? Well. People pay things on websites? <laughs> it's weird. I, I've never heard of this before. That was my thought process. I already had to convince my parents to let me send in a, um, a, uh, a, a, a written form for permission so I could use the Neopets forums. Oh. Wow. Did you have your own Neopets website? I did not. No. Okay. I had one, but it was just a marquee tag that said my name, and I was happy with it. That's a pretty cool website. So All right. My username. Like I, I was HTML, in HTML, and they were like, "This is my this is my Neopets username," and that was it. Yeah. Well, Neopets well, lets you have that one page, awesome. basically. Yeah. Like, uh, did you ever play the Neopet, Sarah? Or was that before your time by a few years? Um, I've heard of Neopets, but I've never Is played it. The non standard marquee tag before your time as well? Yes. I don't know it, what that it, is. All it does is rotate around the page. So it, it rotates the element through its nice. uh, positions. Nice. Yeah, it was um so Neopets was a uh a, a fad that kind of I feel like it was one of those fads that kind of came and went pretty quickly to some people. Some people kept playing it for quite a long time. 
Um, but, uh, and it was when I was in like third grade. So I think that, yeah, you might, you might've just missed it. I think I never played it, but I loved like the, the character design. Mm -hmm. So like I, I got probably some of their like stuffed animals because when I was younger, I was obsessed with stuffed animals. Who wasn't? Honestly. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think the week I played RuneScape, it taught me about bronze being copper plus tin. That fact remained in my mind. Oh, wow. That's, um... That's my one takeaway from RuneScape. Uh, Joey, tell Abhijith yes. Yes. Yes, Kiwi Phoenix. Kiwi Phoenix says, I was in the Webkins era. I was also, I also played a lot of Webkins in my time. <laughs> you know, you can still play Webkins. I downloaded it last what? year for like a couple of days. And then I was like, I'm going to invest too much time in it. And then I deleted it. I forget, are Webkins the ones where you get a plushie and it gives you a code and you can go online and you get your character and then you're like, I got a cool character. Thing yeah. Name. Yeah, exactly. But the, um, it's weird because at the end of its life, or at least now, you don't necessarily have to have bought a plush. You can just like buy one online. And like, that just seems awful, you know? Like the quintessential experience is to have bought the thing and then put the code from the tag in the computer. I don't know. They messed it up. You don't have to talk about the super creepy 3D version. I think I'm misremembering. Or maybe I've never played the super creepy 3D version. Kiwi Phoenix. I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't commiserate with you. All right. And this level is a bit of a slog. A little slog. All right. So... Okay, let's 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 do let's do a debrief. Me, the only person who has played this level. Um, <laughs> okay, so this enemy, man, I don't know if we're ever gonna have more than one enemy in a level. They're 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 annoying. <laughs> you could wall them off, might help a little. No, I think I think it's good um, that they're annoying, to be honest. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe we do um, like. And make sure we can get through here. Just just give it a little bit more of a page so he's not wandering out into the main area. And um, remember, they stay close to their home base, so we will actually move him over here as well. Um, and this will also make it a little bit less punishing when all of your Pikmin go running around. Um, because I don't know if you guys saw me fighting that guy, but I immediately had six of mine die. And then that kind of made the rest of the level a little bit tougher. Um. Okay, but I like that there's a lemon left behind because um, it means that you do have to, like, I think it's a good idea for this to be um, a, a real chance that you will not have enough to carry the lemon back at the end, you know? So having having 15, I feel like, is not that bad for this level. Now, to make it a little bit less of a slog, um, so let's see, why was this tough? It was because when I did have to go back and get more bugs after failing my fight, it took me so long to get back to the home base because we had this initial, um, you know, uh, tunnel thing to get through. So we'll go ahead and uh, put a wall that we have to break down right here instead. Like that. And uh, cool. OK, I think that'll do it. We'll try it one more time. All right, pay attention to my time once again. So 
right, so right, right. The, the legendary game of Pac-Man World 2, they have a fire-based level with the name Butane Pain. Uh, feels very applicable to this scenario. Just saying. Slightly uh, harsh sounding name. But Called what? Applicable. That's Butane iconic. Pain. Did you say poutine? Like the butane, no. like the chemical. Butane, B-U-T-A-N-E. Oh, like in lighters. Yeah. You know, with fire. the right person, poutine can be painful. Oh, Lucas is here next. Acid uh, reflux is painful for everybody. I am. It's true. It's very Hello, true. guess. Howdy. Lucas, are you going to make a game for the mini game jam? Run down and try this again. Uh, just go, guys. Just go. Just run. Go on without me. Oh, no. You got me now. Save yourselves. No, leave me alone. Die. No. <laughs> Oops, all right, all right, all right. Um, so we should probably make it so it's harder for me to do that. Sneak right past it. I, I think that's a valid strategy, but um, probably a good idea to make it tougher to do that, you know? Also, we definitely need to figure out what's wrong with our scores, but we'll do that later. So um, let's, um, yeah, we're going to put this guy a little bit more. I know we just made this little thing to hold him in, but we're going to put him a little bit more over here so he's less likely to be, or less likely to be out of his line of sight. Um, and yeah, let's see. Brohan3214 says nine viewers is a new record. No, that's not true. We've had more than that. We've gone in the, in the, in the, in the high 20s. Thank you. Yeah, and that's only on here. When we were on Mixer, I, I mean, we were in the hundreds. That's true. We had a lot of viewers Once on Once or Mixer. twice, right? That was... Yeah. <laughs> near the end of Mixer when they started putting us on the homepage. Uh, Lucas says, no, I haven't done much coding lately. I've been lacking ideas and motivation lately, but today I got a new game idea that I think would be cool. And um, uh, sorry to hear that, and I uh, look forward to seeing whatever game you make. I always like playing your games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's normal. Also, just worth noting, that's normal. You don't always have to have uh, ideas, new ideas and motivation. Take some breaks. It's a good thing to do. Don't get burnt out. Mm -hmm. Sarah snapping like a cool kid at a slam poetry. Wow. <laughs> OK, in my defense, uh, this thing I learned, it was it was I learned it in college. It was like if you agree with someone instead of clapping, which is really loud, you just snap because it's like it's still you can agree with someone. But it's not oh. as obnoxious. It's not like you're at, uh, you know, jazz or poetry night. Right. Actually, I don't. I don't see why you feel the need to defend against being a cool kid at a slam you know, poetry competition. Yeah, yeah you're like, right. That probably would have been cooler than what I just defended myself yeah. as. You know, it, it's too said, late yeah, now. You're a cool kid. She's like, I've never been more offended <laughs> in my life. Can I dare you? Yeah. Exactly. All, exactly. <laughs> look forward to your meeting with HR. <laughs> I've never been cool. Take it back. All right. Um, on that note. But snapping what? is fun. <laughs> Defending that. <laughs> no, the mic is not picking that up. So. Nope. All right. So let's do one more level because uh, we got not much time left. Um, this one, we're going to put the watermelon in. Come here, watermelon. There we go. All right. So if you put a watermelon in, you need to have, um, uh, let's see, at least 35 bugs, right? Because it takes 32. So we need to put in a whole bunch of bugs in this one. So let me just go ahead and sketch out a basic map for this. Um, and then we will place our bugs inside it. Um, so what I'm thinking is that we will have the home base be like up here. All right, and then I'm thinking that we have just like a bunch of little tasks in um, different corners of the map. And then we will, um, at each one, you will also be 
picking up bugs as you do it. Um, and then the watermelon, I feel like should be something that you see in the beginning. Um, so, you know, move, get rid of this watermelon for now. Actually, I'm going to make this um, here. We're going to make this kind of a wider open area and maybe even a bigger map. So I want you to see the watermelon in the beginning so that you have this tantalizing cries before you. By the way, did you guys know that tantalizing, the word comes from tantalus? The Greek hmm. myth? That, I, that's not a word. I had never even considered. OK, well, tantalus was a guy. Yeah, and I, I remember the story now. He was very uh, lising, apparently. He, um. He uh, was um, he was the guy who was in the who like had a water all around him, but he couldn't drink it. And that's right. Sounds right. Really? Oh, man, it's been so long. You know, I took a whole course in Greek mythology. And I just whoa, it's all really? Gone now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. at, at University of Virginia, the college we both went to. Exactly. Guys. Thomas and I went to the same college, and we never ran into each other, despite the fact that he was in the game design club. And yeah. um, uh, we were the same major. The same major, and we were just a year apart. <laughs> just <laughs> don't know how it happened. Well, yeah. Ships passing. Wait, how big the is the college? What? Pretty, pretty big. State pretty school. Big. It is pretty big. Yeah. Peter Science Department's not, not that big. But it was really booming at the time we were there, so. True. Okay, okay, all right. So we have one, two, three, four. We need to have six of these. No, we need to have five of these. No, we need to have four of them. What am I doing? Wait. Okay, four wait, times five how? is 20, plus the initial five that you have. We need to have six of these. God. Nice. Can't do that. Also, Richard, how did this information present itself to you so recently? Like, it just seems I, like well, such a random thing. I saw him wearing a UVA shirt, and I was like, you No, idiot? no, not. <laughs> I'm talking about Tantalus. Sorry. I, I re realize now. Do you, not that, just randomly, uh, uh, do you not just randomly read the Wikipedia entries all week? I don't. Uh, nor do that's, I think about the Roman Empire. Maybe that's why you're not getting four or five consecutive things on code names. <laughs> Dang, you know, that's a really good point. I, I don't if you don't occasionally hear a word and think to yourself, how on earth did that word come to be? Then I don't understand how your mind works. You know, that's fair. But most of the time I don't like take the steps to go and be like, what does it actually mean? Because I'm just like, eh. Well, that's <laughs> right that's just an initiative problem. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the it's true. Some of all human knowledge is right here. I know, I know. All right. Sad. Um, we're gonna we're we're kind of out of time, so we're gonna give names to these levels that we've made. Okay. Um, no, okay. Thomas had I a really you were good gonna one. Cut out right before the song gets here. Give me one. Give me one, Thomas. Oh, hang on. Where'd my list go? You had watermelon waterfall, right? I watermelon really liked waterfall. watermelon waterfall. I mean, oh, but I like calling it fruit salad because I put all the fruit in that level. <laughs> You can call for oh, That's fine. fine. Yeah. I don't know where my whole list went. I had a whole list of them. Uh, the Dastardly Dunes, top. The Field of Fortune. Wait, wait a second. Uh, Thomas, Meadow. say something. Thomas, say something. I can click on your name and see your history. Oh, there you uh, go. I, uh, uh, flower uh, Forest. Grassy Gardens. Grassy Gardens. Fields of Fortune. Dastardly Dunes. Midnight Meadow. Okay, Ooh, I like that you went to the Kirby School of Level Name Design. Uh, but uh, Firefly, Fireflyer, Cave Cathedral. Oh, yeah. Cathedral I like Dastardly Dunes for the... Cave, cave Cathedral's good, because we are set in a cave. Yeah. The rest yeah. of them, I, I worry that we don't have any of those. It's your imagination. <laughs> you just have to use your imagination. Yeah, it's like... The... It's like playing Dungeons and Dragons. All right. Um, and then we will do of these. I like Fields of Fortune. Oh, Lu Lucas has volunteered to make a level. Also, Lucas, the 
link is somewhere above in chat. I think it, I'll uh, send it, 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 I'll send it again. Somehow. Oh, just kidding. Um, I lied. All right. My bad. Bug president, we have now made a complete game. Um, let's all take a second and pat ourselves on the back. Important note here, then. There's something wrong in the very bottom of the screen. Yeah, you want me to it's change the name right now? Bug president pulling the game. Now um, we shift it. It's gone gold. <clears throat> uh, so are we done with bug president? Heck no, I'm still going to be making changes to this game, but um, we will probably next stream be working on something new. So the long, oh wait, we were going to do a sound design stream. All right, next stream we will be working on something new. We will come back and do a sound design stream. So don't worry about that. We're going to put in a bunch of sounds because we don't have sounds right now. Um, and uh, yeah, let me, oh right, let me, uh, let me update the link right now. There you go. All right. Um, and thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, remember we have mini game jam going on, um, the mini game jam and next week. So um, on Friday of next week, we will be playing all of the mini game jam games. So if you have a Halloween game or a horror game or a spooky game or a game with ghosts in it, um, uh, please go ahead and submit it for our mini game jam. You can find more details on the forum. And um, like I so said, we'll be playing those on stream. It's probably worth noting that any game can have ghosts in it if you just say that there are ghosts in it. You can't true, really true, prove true. that there aren't ghosts in the game. Yeah. What was that game we made? Haunted Homeowners Association. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> um, I skeleton 3D game. Oh, that that oh, was yeah. also a game that we made for a while. Yeah. That's still around. I mean, I have it. <laughs> It exists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someday I'm going to go through all of the games that I have when I don't have a million things to do for actual work and um, uh, just put together a list and I'll post it all to the forum. Okay. Um, I'll look forward to that in kind of retirement plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm Richard. I'm Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Joey at J Wonder on the Make Code Forum. I'm Thomas at Sparks on the Make Code Forum. I'm Sarah at S Code on the Make Code Forum. And we'll see you on Monday. Bye.